If there's one thing I learned from my 20s, this too shall pass. In 2019, I would lie in bed all day wishing and thinking about different ways of dying, hoping every night that I would die in my sleep so I didn't have to live another day. In my 20s, I had multiple long manic and psychotic episodes where I lost touch with reality, damaged or severed my closest relationships and spent all my savings. People think that in bipolar disorder, mania just feels good. That it's just a mood disorder, not in my case. It's like somebody else takes over my body and I have no control. I would describe my manic and psychotic episodes as nightmares. The only difference is when antipsychotics wake you up from that nightmare, you realize that it wasn't a dream, but everything, all the bad things actually happened. When I recover from mania, it's not like, phew, at least that's over. It's more like, what the fuck just happened? It feels like someone just ruined your life, but it was actually your brain that just randomly did that. You can't make sense of what happened. Life is not what you thought it was. Reality is not what you thought it was. There's no purpose in living. There's no purpose in doing anything. Everything loses its meaning. Life is just random chaos. And what is the point of living in a world of random chaos where you have no control over your life? As months turned into a year and COVID hit in 2020, I started to have more motivation to do things and found joy in the things that I used to enjoy. I started enjoying watching TV and YouTube videos again. I know that doesn't sound like much or much of a good thing, but when you didn't want to do anything but lie in bed and think about dying, this was a huge step up. I made a video saying this. I'm an old infant, as you put it. Um, and that's an ugly thing. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is I'm actually comfortable the way I am and I don't want to change at this point. So at that point, I was enjoying life again, but I didn't want to develop my life or myself into anything more than someone who watches videos all day. That was two years ago in 2021. One thing has changed since then. I want to change. I got my motivation back. Don't get me wrong, I still slack off and spend hours in front of the TV, but now, more often than not, I feel bad about it if I'm not productive. Fast forward to today, 2024. Two months ago, I started going to the gym regularly since February. I posted YouTube videos every day for over 170 days. I visited my online friend Niels in Germany recently, whom I've been talking to the phone every day. And because of him, just a few days ago, I started waking up at 5 or 6 a.m. to have a super productive start to the day. I still have a long way to go to become the man that I want to become, but it feels like I'm on an exponential curve. What I mean by that is, at the beginning, nothing seems to be changing. There's no progress. But as months turned into years, things started to pick up and now progress and change seems to be getting faster and faster. It's been five years since I was in bed wishing I would just die. Five years is half a decade. Five years is a long time. I'm 33 now. Some of my friends are married. They bought a house. They're growing in their careers. Here I am, single, moved back in with my mom, making YouTube videos, trying to make this my living because it's something I wanted to do since I was a teenager. In many ways, you could call me a failure. But as Evelyn said, You're exactly where you need to be in life. I am exactly where I need to be in life. And you are too but it doesn't mean we have to stay here. It's okay to not be in a very good place if what you're trying to do with that not very good place is to make it better. And for the first few years, I wasn't even trying to make it better. I was just existing, not even living. But as I learned, this too shall pass. Whatever you're going through, this too shall pass. It might take months or like me, it might even take years, but this too shall pass. Time is your ally. What you're experiencing now is not permanent. So if you're going through a tough time, hang in there. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. My name is Paul, and if you've been watching me, you'll know that recently I stopped daily uploads talking about my day, and now I'm trying to make idea-based videos every two days. This is the first of those videos. It has already proven to be way harder than my daily uploads. It took hours and hours of brainstorming and thinking yesterday to decide on this title and topic. Idea generation is the hardest part for me, but I'll try to make it sustainable, and I think the key to that is to lower the bar 
and not aim so high in every video. I might get repetitive in my videos telling my story again and again, but I think that's okay. I will see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby. Happiness is having Moti and Tigger on the couch with me.